uh, Charm City Charities for put, putting this event on. It's always great to get back to Baltimore um, and, and play in front of our fans here. Um, I always feel we got a ton of fans in this city, and it's it's always great to play here. So, um, so I thank you for that. Um, really proud of my team. Obviously, um, coming off a tough loss, getting home late, um, and then just trying to move forward and, and play well. And obviously, we didn't start the game well offensively. Um, couldn't make a shot. Give them some credit. They're a great defensive team. Um, but then we, you know, we just kept guarding. And uh, for the last two games, last 80 minutes, um, we've really guarded well. And so I'm proud of that. And we had some things happen tonight. Bruno and Sticks got early foul trouble. Bruno had a silly foul. He had done that all this year, pick up his second. Um, and I left him in with one. And if he wants to stay in next time after one, he's got to play smarter. Um, but, um, you know, then Daryl twists his ankle in uh, warm-ups. And so he tried to go, and he couldn't go. So we had a lot going on. Forced me to play depth, and our depth was really good tonight. So proud of the young guys, and just proud of my team. I thought Anthony's defense was terrific, and he made some big shots, and some really good passes for us. Well, you know, I was a little concerned. I, I, took, I don't really usually give rah rah speeches before a game. I say for halftime, and I was kind of like, hey guys, this is not going to be easy if you think it's going to be easy. But I knew we were tough. I knew we had toughness. But my guys showed me a lot today to have a devastating loss the way we did on the road, and then to come back less than 48 hours later and play the way we played defensively show great toughness. And I got to give credit to Coach Kyle and Coach Matt Charvin and Thomas and Kyle Tarp. They did a great job of, you know, feeding my guys, cold tubs, all the stuff they need to do to get our legs back uh, for this game. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Yeah. Well, I thought even Bender really played well. You know, it's a tough matchup on defense for him, but we really, even really got us going offensively, helped to space the floor. Even's kind of like a guard. So uh, that was terrific to see. Uh, Sorrell probably had his first or second best game of the year. Um, he got to play a lot. And I thought Ricky Lindo defensively was terrific um, out there. Played smart. Um, he's learning. And uh, so our depth's better. And it was actually, I told the team at halftime, I said, I know it kind of stunk that we went through it, but the foul trouble is probably going to help us in the second half because we're going to be fresher because they have an injury and they're not as deep as they normally are. And uh, I thought the foul trouble really helped. Bruno not get tired, and I thought he really helped our defense in the second half. Anthony, can you kind of describe the commitment to defense that you guys have had here last game, especially today, and just also kind of the patience that it required to kind of slog through things and finally pull away everything in the Yeah, I think it's definitely been pretty impressive, uh, the defense that we played up thus far. Um, I don't even think it was just this game, but uh, I also think that we defended very well last game. Um, I mean, that's just been a hard one in practice, um, just trying to be be a good defensive team. Um, and I think we're finally kind of showing that a little bit. Yeah. Anthony, when uh, the offense gets off to a slow start, I mean, you know, at what point do you realize that you might need to take over a little more scoring role going into tonight and maybe less of a facilitating role, or do you go into the game kind of have an idea of how you're going to be? No, I don't really go into any game knowing how it's going to go. Um, this game, I really try to help let my defense help me on offense. Um, like you said, it was a little slow on offense, so the best way the best way you can change that is just playing with some intensity on defense. And uh, I forgot, I think Coach Brody said, um, let, let our off, let our defense be our best offense. Um, and I think that's how, how we kind of got on a little run. Yeah. Anthony, with your concerns about the 
of the uh, turnaround? Was it for you? Was it part of the or you know, just uh, uh, getting back or managing getting back into the West? Um, I mean, you know me. I I ain't really getting too tired of uh, like 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 Coach said, Coach Kyle. Uh, Matt, they definitely did a good job of helping us get our legs back. Um, mentally, uh, obviously it was a big loss, um, but I mean, there's no, you know, in, in college basketball, it's no time to look back on the last game. Um, I think we really took one of the challenge today. To, and the coach kind of said it just, it's kind of good to get the bad taste out your mouth a little bit. Um, so, like I said, I'm just happy with the win today. So, it's good to play that soon in, in that regard, and it's good to get back on the court back. I like it. Um, I mean, nobody wants to have, a, have their last game be a loss, so I definitely like it. Thomas. Uh, Bruno, when you got called for that second foul, I had to go to the bench. What was going through your mind, and how do you feel like you responded? Um, it wasn't really a lot going through my mind. Um, I knew it was a silly foul. I probably shouldn't have tried to reach for the ball. Um, I was mad at myself for the way I I uh, got a second foul, but you know, at the end of the day, I just had to, you know, keep my head in the game and come to the bench, knowing that I'll, I'll get back on the court anytime. So that was really just all I did. Just came back, you know, stay ready with my head locked in, and now whenever I got back and just had a chance to play defense, and I think we did a great job defensively, just executing the game plan, and that, that's what helped us get a win. Mark, uh, going back to your comment about how you were happy with coming back after the uh, short rest, is that something from such a young team you can pull upon? Yeah, we're gonna have. You know, we got a tough schedule ahead of us, um, and so you know, I don't think we're gonna win the rest of them. I'd like to, but we're probably gonna lose again. We just gotta respond the right way. And I, I keep saying I really like this team. They're resilient. They're young. Sometimes the youth, they don't know any different. They just, you know, a lot of times kids at 18 years old are worried where, where their next meal's coming from, and not so much the game they lost, so coaches take it harder. But uh, no, these guys continue to show me something. We weren't great offensively tonight, but we had really good shots, and we moved the ball better than we did. And really what cost us the game the other night was our lack of ball movement late in the game. And I think our ball movement was much better tonight. So we really grew up in the last 48 hours, and that's what I'm excited about. Um, I gotta give him credit. He's a he's a, he's a really good player. Uh, he has a lot of moves down in the post. Um, but like I said before, all I had to do is just execute the game plan that we had defensively, and I think I did a pretty good job on that um, to limit him on like trying to get the ball in the post and do like the things he likes to do. And uh, just on Ricky Lindo and everybody else like Josh Tomas, even Bender, for coming into the game and stepping up defensively, even though me and Sticks um, had foul trouble and all that. Just you know, for them to be able to stay in the game. And I uh, keep doing the job we, we all plan to do in the locker room was, was big for us to help us get a win. Last one for Don. Well, um, you heard a couple of outside shots tonight. How, how important is that not only for you, but for the team in terms of the way the team scouted you and, and with all the double teams you get? You're, you're showing pretty on tape your ability to step out of those shots. Um, it's extremely important, but like I said before, I'm not really, you know, trying to go out there to showcase anything. I do whatever it takes for me to do to help my, my team win. And if he's staying on the post and setting screens and just getting the ball down low, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys who can score the ball on the outside, so why would I step out and try to do the things I'm not supposed to? But, you know, got to read the defense, and whenever they give me the chance to take the shot, I take the shot. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone.